لما نسمع اسم النبي لازم نصلي عليه So the theme of the series is what we take away from the legacy of Ramadan and how can we live every day as if it is the month of Ramadan even if it is not of that level of spirituality and heightened as it was during the month of Ramadan but the objective that I want to maintain throughout the series is simplicity and not complexity to stick to a few things and prioritize them and do it in the best of ways so we spoke about salah today we speak about Quran one of the things that we really focused on during the month of Ramadan is the recitation of Quran mashallah people recited the Quran throughout they finished the Quran cover to cover multiple times some of us tens of times some of us even more walillahi alhamd and may Allah accept but what happens after the month of Ramadan do we keep the Quran aside neglect it let it collect dust in our shelves we have to do something so here is what I would advise you to go with firstly have a daily recitation of the Holy Quran even if it is just one page even if it is just one verse five verses but remain consistent on a daily basis and hey I think one of the best times to recite the Holy Quran is after Salat al-Fajr so you remember in Salah we mentioned try and prioritize to pray your Salah in congregation so after you're done with your congregational Fajr prayer and that is a sign of acceptance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you came for Fajr remember Fajr is only with invites from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after you're done with your adhkar sit and recite that one page those two pages those five verses and not only recitation let's also focus on understanding the message of the Holy Quran so here's another tip that I would want to hand over to you recite the Quran and understand it via the translation take one translation English whatever language you prefer understand it in depth recite it and read the translation even if it is one verse even if it is two verses the point is not to finish the Holy Quran but to embark on the journey whether or not you reach at your destination before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at least you will have an excuse that I did begin but life cut me short but if you did nothing then the questioning from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might be heavy